In this video, I'm going to create a table view which will uh, display a list of users registered with our application. And this list of users will be queried from parse user class. Okay, so and I'm going to work with an empty project. I've created a new project. I've downloaded uh, parse libraries and integrated them into my uh, project. If you don't know how to do it, please watch, of, uh, watch one of my um, earlier videos, how to do that. But here we have um, an empty project with parse integrated on my view con on my main board. I will um, expand it a little bit. I have a default view controller which was created by Xcode and I will use it to create my table view. So I will resize it to iPhone 4 inch so I have even uh, more space and I will embed this view controller into a uh, navigation controller so i will go to editor embed in navigation controller and i will also resize it to four inch so that i have more space okay now i have a view controller and i will need table view to display my users so i will look for table from the objects library here at the bottom and then here we have table view i will drag and drop it to my view resize it a little bit like this and here I will move it all the way to the status bar okay and then I'll select view controller and I'll uh, click uh, here and I will reset to suggested constraints okay now I have table view I will go back to my attributes inspector and then I will um, Oh no, I will select table view first. I'll go to attributes inspector and I will add one prototype cell. So I will click on um, upper arrow here and I have one prototype cell. Okay, and uh, I will, uh, since I'm going to work with this cell and while still in the user interface designer, I will expand my left side panel here, the document outline panel by clicking on this um, button here. And I will select my table view cell. So table view cell is selected. And while my attributes inspector is um, selected for the uh, cell, table view cell identifier, I will come up with a name. Uh, for example, I'll call it my cell, or I can uh, call it, call it, call it, call it user cell, for example, because this cell is going to be listing users. Okay, uh, now we have a name or identifier for a cell. Now let's create um, two outlets for this table. And um, I will select table view again, hold control button on my keyboard, click drag, and drop it on this uh, yellow orange uh, button. I'll drop it and for the outlets, first I'll select data source. And I will repeat this step again. Sorry, I'll select table view, click, drag, and drop, and I'll also um, select delegate. So um, the data source and the delegate should have this um, white dot on the left side. Okay, so now outlets are created, and I will hide my left side panel. I will select view controller, and I'll open it in assistant editor. I'll hide my uh, right side panel. And one more outlet that I need to have is for the table view inside of my source code. And I'll use it to reload data when I have, uh, when I need it. So I'll select table view, hold control button, my keyboard, click, drag and drop here. And the connection type is outlet and I'll call it my table and click connect. Okay, so now I have table view outlet and I can use it to reload data uh, of my table view. Okay, so let me open up uh, actually this uh, view controller in a larger view so we can work with it. Okay, because table view needs to display data, we need to make our view controller conform to a couple of protocols. And one of them is UI table um, view data source. So our table view data source. And uh, if I hold control button on my command button on my keyboard, command button, 
and then click on the table view data source it will take me to the protocol and I will need to implement a couple of um, functions uh, to make my table view conform to that protocol and I will look for the first two number of rows in section and cell for row at index path and I'll copy this come back to my view controller and I'll paste them here delete not needed um, comments add body I'll delete this one as well delete public and body okay so the first one will return number of rows in each section so um, because our view a uh, table view will list users we will need to display um, uh, users so here is a number of users that will be displayed and um, information is going to be loaded from an array so I will create a new array and I'll call it users and that's going to be array of parse users so that's going to be pf user and it's going to be an empty array um, objective c i mean uh, parse complains that um, this is an unresolved identifier and this is because i did not import parse so i'll go here and I'll import parse into my view controller so now the error should be gone okay so we have uh, an empty array of users and now here I can return users count okay so if we have five users we are going to get five rows or five cells in our uh, table okay and this one the last one is going to return cell for each row and that's going to be a UI table view cell so and the way we um, create cells for our table view is we will um, define a new variable and that's going to be user cell for example and we will access table view uh, which is a parameter we have here table view of type table view so we have table view and we will uh, use the queue reusable ident uh, re reusable cell with identifier so identifier i think is called uh, user cell right so user cell let's just double check uh, we'll go back to main storyboard select the cell open up document outline here so this is our user cell selected and now while user cell is selected I'll open right side panel here and I'll uh, let me just copy this uh, cell identifier okay now I'll go back to view controller and I'll paste the cell identifier here and for the index pass we will also use the parameter that we have here function parameter in this pass okay so now we have we successfully dequeued our user cell and we will need to return this cell back to table view and when this cell is returned is going to be empty and we don't want that uh, each cell or each row in our table should display username so um let's uh do that let's um get a user object from an array that we have and uh, that user object is going to be of type parse user and it will come from users array for each row so I will uh, reference to index path and I will read its property row so for each row we'll get user object and now we we need to sell we need to uh, set user cell text label text to the uh, user object and uh, the way we read information from parse class is by uh, referencing to object for key so um so each record in the parse user table will be stored as pf user and for that record we can access individual uh, columns by its um, names so in the users uh, table we have a column with the name that has a key first name and that is um, of type string so uh, I can go back to my parse 
and I can go back to users class and look up the key for my um, first name so that's a first name for the users class so we are not mistaken okay so um what is it that uh, Xcode is complaining is said is reserved so we have users text label equals the users object object for key everything is correct let's build it yeah should be okay okay so um we have created a table view and we've created users array and uh, for we've created a delegate i mean a data source functions now when um, our table view loads number of rows in section is going to be called and it will return five for five users and then for each cell it will call uh, cell for row index path okay there is one more class there's one more function that we need to implement and it is going to go it's going to come from ui table view data source protocol another very important protocol that we need to conform to if i hold control button on my keyboard command data yeah command button on my keyboard click on it and i'm taking the table view data source i will need to oops i'm sorry that's not data source that's delegate so ui table view uh delegate uh the protocol name so if i hold command button my keyword click on it and i need to look for uh did select did select a road index path okay i'll copy this one come back to my view controller and paste this function and add its body so this function will be called every time when user taps on a cell and for the time being i'll simply print something like um, a row tapped and i will print out index path row just to know to test and see that it's working okay so let uh, me oh no i can't run this application yet if i run it i'll have table view which is empty so let's implement a function that will load users and the time when we want to load these users is when this view is loaded so there are two times it's either first time the very first time when you view did load um which is actually enough for our, our application or we can put it inside of view will appear so that it will load every time when uh, this view appears so i'll create a new function and i'll call it a uh, load users load users and inside of that function i will put some code that will access parse load users and we'll query uh, parse users class okay so um uh, let's create a parse query first so i will use that user query and that's going to be of type parse query and we're going to query class name of type user now notice the underscore i use here um in parse class we the class name doesn't have underscore but if we are going to access it through the source code i will need to use underscore um, before its name okay so now i can um, access users query and i can call find objects in background with block i want to choose in background because that will um span an asynchronous thread like uh, the http request to parse will be asynchronous in background and that will not block our application and will not make it unresponsive so for the parse object uh, that's going to be uh, now let's call it results and that will be an error 
and here we will place our code we can check for error and if error takes place we can display an error alert message but i'll simplify this example and i'll simply check uh, i'll use if statement if let and i will um, create a variable found users and i will assign it to result so um in other words i'm i'm saying if result contains any information it will be assigned to users found users and um, this is also going to be of type bf user like this should work okay and then um sorry as user all right uh okay and we have a users class array and I will need to assign self users equals found users okay so now if the result is not empty uh, a new array will be created found users and it will be assigned to self users and if result is not empty and we have users we can now reference to my table the outlet that we created here the table view outlet we have so we can access it to reload data so now um, everything should work if i run this application and we should see our uh, users uh, loaded into our table view so let's run and test very good our application is working and we have three users loaded I can go back to my um, parse class users and I have three users exactly I have three rows and each row has a user with first name Michael John and Bill so if I go back to my application Bill John and Michael everything's work so uh, let's continue uh, with the uh, on also let's check the uh, did select yes so as you see like I can put a breakpoint here uh, the did select road index path so I can put a breakpoint here to debug my application and here is my um, running application so I, if I tap on bill breakpoint will trigger telling me that uh, did select road index path is called I can play it by clicking on this play button here and I get uh, a record in my debug console here that the road tab is zero so i can remove this pointer and see that everything is working so let's continue